Hey everyone and welcome back to the Trini Indian Kitchen. Um, today's video is going to be a little different, actually not very different from my other recipes, but different in the sense that this video, and I'm really happy and excited to say this, is a collaboration, um, not a, you know, like a here's another person beside me collaboration, but it's still a collaboration. We're doing an online one with one of my um, biggest supporters, best friends, and one of my few favorite YouTubers out there. So it's Trini Cooking with Natasha. Um, her recipe of the same almond barfi, which I'm doing today, um, it will be out on her channel as well, so please go and check that out. And I will put the link of her channel and the link of her recipe down in the description below. So make sure to check that out as well. The recipe with all the measurements and everything is down in the description below. So um, for this, you will need a few things that maybe you don't have, but um, I think most of you should have it. So let's go on with the rest of the recipe. And I hope you all will be able to watch Natasha's recipe as well and see the similarities and differences between both of our recipes because we didn't rehearse this together or anything. So keep watching. All right, so the ingredients to make your barfi, your almond barfi, is um, just one cup of ground almonds. And I just took whole raw almonds I get in a two pound bag. And I just grind in my magic bullet until I get this powder. It doesn't have to be too fine. Mine is pretty coarse. So that's one cup of almonds that turned into a little over one cup of powder. So I just took out some of the powder. So I have exactly one cup. I'm going to use milk powder. This is all I can get for now. It's the exact opposite of what we need, fat free. But this is what I used um, when I first tried out this recipe and it came out perfect. So we're going to be using three cups of fat free um, you'll use you'll have to use whole, whole milk powder, but three cups of full cream milk powder. Ignore my fat-free milk powder. Two cups of white sugar. Um, a little bit of vanilla for flavor, so I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon. A three-inch piece of cinnamon, and here I have some um, almonds that I just crushed in my okrine musa or my mortar and pestle. And I just crush them so that they're about in four or five pieces of one almond. So I'm going to be using this as garnish. We'll also need water, about maybe two, three tablespoons to make our sugar syrup because all we want is a very thick sugar syrup. And when we add too much water, then it'll take too long to boil and all this water and sugar will evaporate and whatever. So we just need like two tablespoons of sugar of water to make our sugar syrup and I'm going to use a teaspoon of or of milk and I don't have my ghee out right now but we'll need a tablespoon of ghee okay so to my almond flour or my almond powder I added my three cups of milk so I'm just gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna mix everything together now it will seem like a lot but in the end, they will make a good amount of barfi. Alright, so I'm going to add in my teaspoon of milk. And it's such a little amount, but you'll see what a difference it makes. And we'll just knead this through. Until it gets a little crumbly. Um, I'm, I do have a regular barfi video that I actually made in Trinidad with my cousin. So... I'm going to be posting that up as well, closer to Diwali time. Alright, so we've got it resembling these breadcrumbs. If you look at it closely and you could hear it. And so, I'm just going to let this sit for like a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to make my pag, my sugar syrup. Alright, so I have my pot set up here. I'm going to throw, turn on my stove and then I'm going to add my sugar. So my stove will have a chance to heat up first. So two cups of sugar. Okay, so to my sugar, I'm going to add... By the way, my stove is on high heat. I'm going to add about 
three tablespoons of water. Again, using my Trini Cooking with Natasha pot spoon. And I'm going to mix this together. Alright, I'm going to put in a little bit more because as you can see, my sugar is just burning right now. It's just caramelizing. Okay, so in total I just added about a half a cup no, about a quarter of a cup of water, and you can see how the sugar looks like. So at this point, I'm going to throw in my cinnamon stick and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So while my sugar is over here boiling up, I'm just making a well in the middle of my um, almond and milk powder mixture. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of ghee inside this. And we'll just wait until our pag or our sugar water comes to the proper consistency. So my pag or my sugar water is coming to a boil. So I'm going to let this boil for a few minutes, not too long. And it smells just like vanilla it smells like how we want it and a little cinnamon and you want to check consistency for when it drops and it forms a string or another thing you can do is touch it and then you can feel it in your hand and if you get a string let me get more if you get a string out of it then just like that then you know that it's almost ready okay so it's pretty much got to the consistency. Taking out my cinnamon stick and I'm going to turn my heat down and in the meantime I'll just test the sugar that came out on the cinnamon stick and I'm going to see if it's ready. Oh yeah, that's ready. So next step is to pour it a little at a time into our barfi. Alright, so here's my barfi. I've got my pag, my sugar here. I'm going to turn off my stove. I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Be very careful because too much will spoil your barfi. Alright, just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to let the ghee melt in to this. And then we're going to mix it into our, into our milk. And we're going to mix it so that it comes together almost like a dough. Alright, when you notice that it's not taking in too much, then you're going to add a bit more. Almost there, and we're almost there with the pag as well. Just a bit more. Hang in there. This is the longest clip in the whole video, I promise you. Alright, we're there. Once you get this really hard consistency, now you're gonna have to start working fast. I'm going to keep this aside for just a second, grease your tray, and you're going to put your mixture on the tray. Alright, so we've greased our tray, I'm going to take my barfi, and I'm just going to add it all into this. And once it's all there, you're going to start spreading it around. It will be a little hard, but trust me, you'll be able to do it. When you watch my other barfi video, you'll notice that that one's a little bit easier to do. Alright, by this point, it should be cool enough to use your hand. Or, I hope. Yeah, for me it's cool enough, but you can't trust me. I don't get burnt ever. Except for playing with sugar. So don't play with boiling sugar. 
a tip that I use is I just spread a little bit of ghee on my hand and I spread it out so that if it is too hot for you, you really can't let this cool down because then you won't be able to work with it at all. So that um, when you're pressing it out, it doesn't stick to your hand and it doesn't stay there for long enough to burn you. Alright, grab your bill now, your rolling pin. I'm going to move this out of the way. And, okay, I'll have to work sideways because that's just how small my tray is. And I'm just going to make this thin enough. And then just flatten down the edges because it will, it will try to come out a little higher. Alright, now at this point you're going to garnish it with your crushed almonds. The crushed almonds, and you're just going to spread it over your barfi. If you're using sprinkles, you can do that too, but I'm, like I said before, trying to copy um, little stores of almond barfi. So I use my non-fat milk powder, and it doesn't actually come out too bad, you know, it actually comes up very close, if not the same, to your uh, little store one. And after you've made all your almonds, you're just going to crush them in. Alright, so traditionally... Not traditionally, but as a tip, your best friend for cutting this would be a pizza cutter. But I'm just going to go the traditional way because, as usual, can't find the pizza cutter. So, it's usually cut in squares. And that's okay if you're on top of a piece of almond and you find it hard to cut. As long as the rest of your line is the same, it'll all break off. Alright guys, so the barfi is still setting, so I won't be able to show you today how it looks, but I might post a picture of it on Instagram, if you check out my Instagram account. Um, I will leave the link to that in the description as well, but um, we have to go do our prayers now because it's a little past sundown, I guess, and so um, usually Navratri prayers are in the night time. And so now we're going to go do that. It's about almost 8 o'clock right now. So um, I just made some parasad preparing for that. So here it is. I made some parasad as well. I will be posting a recipe of this a little bit closer to Diwali. So um, please check out for that recipe as well. I might be posting it next week. So um, stay tuned for that. And um, I would just like to thank Natasha so much for allowing me to be in this collab with her. It really means a lot that I have support from someone as successful as you and also Taste of Trini. Like the two of them are just amazing people, amazing cooks. They have great channels. If you follow me and if, and if you don't follow them, go ahead and follow them. I will also leave Taste of Trini's um, URL in the description below. So please check out the description. Everything is down there. So um, thanks again for watching this. Let me just grab the barfi to show you how it is looking now and the texture now. Here it is, the almond barfi. And let me just try to take this end piece off here to show you how it is. Let me just go in a little closer. So it is quite firm. All right, and it's not quite there yet because it's still a little bit pliable. Let me just show you. And if I break it, let me just focus. That's how it looks inside. So I hope you all try this recipe. And I hope it turns out really good for you. It did come out good for me. If you just follow all my steps, then it will come out perfect. So um, here's our almond barfi. It is very similar, if not exactly the same, to the um, little store one from Cure Up. I don't know, I just, I came back from Trinidad, it's been over a month now, and um, so I forgot how it tastes, but when I taste this barfi, it reminds me of Trinidad and especially, um, especially the little store because those are some of my favorite places in Trinidad, it's a really nice place, if you, um, if you're in the area one time, go ahead and check it out, it's a really nice place and do get the almond barfi. Thanks for watching. I know I talked uh, way too much in this last piece of the video. Probably going to edit out some of it. Thanks again.